Nigeria's permanent representative to the United Nations, Ambassador Tijani Mohamed Bande, has bowed out of office as president of the 74th session of the General Assembly. He handed over the gravel to Turkish diplomat and politician Volkan Boski, who will be steering the ship of the 75th session of the 193-member lawmaking body. The change of baton took place during the closing ceremony of the 74th session. The brief ceremony held inside the General Assembly Hall at the UN headquarters in New York under strict social distancing rules and saw UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres in attendance. This is a moment of reckoning for our shared planet and future. This is a time for action, ambition, equality, inclusion and partnership. It is therefore important that in the work of the United Nations, we continue to engage and involve youth. They have shown uncommon leadership in the face of the difficulties of our world. They have been particularly vocal regarding climate and social justice issues, and we must listen to them as our lives depend on this. At this time of crisis, it is our responsibility to strengthen people's faith in multilateral cooperation and international institutions with the UN at the center. We need to continue a frank, <coughs> transparent, and <coughs> result-oriented dialogue about <coughs> what went wrong in our efforts to contain the virus and what we have to do to avoid a similar situation in the future. We will also need to ask and answer questions about how COVID-19 vaccines can be distributed fairly and equitably. Virtual participation may mean that a record number of heads of state and government take part in the high-level week, but going online will undoubtedly create new challenges. We'll need to learn as we go and continue to demonstrate the greatest flexibility. I look forward to working with you all under the presence of His Excellency Mr. Volkan Boskir to make the 75th section a success. The world looks to the United Nations as the indispensable forum for international cooperation on global challenges. Let us continue our work together to beat the pandemic and build a better future.